the street was flooded and so I hurry up and opened up the front door and the water was to the front door. So I hurry up and looked in the back patio and there was water already slowly starting to come in the kitchen and then that was it. It just started pouring in. It got pretty high so then we decided to call 911 because at some point we knew we were going to have to be rescued. Today we were given the responsibility of three homes to be gutted out, remove all the furniture, um, all the personal belongings, um, uh, our love and comfort towards uh, the homeowners, uh, encouraging them along the way, as well as just removing four feet of sheetrock, the doorpost, everything. All of our things were just out in a pile and stuff, so. She was okay with everything that she lost because it's replaceable. We were able to take our dog with us, but I wasn't able to get to the chicken and goat in the backyard. <laughs> so the kids were really concerned. They wanted to make sure the goat was okay. So a neighbor let us use her canoe so we could try to pedal down here and come get her. Get the canoe all the way back into the pen, get her into the um, canoe, and go ahead and save Faith Jellybean Dupree. <laughs> so the kids were really excited that we were able to save her, and the chickens were okay too. <laughs> I feel like everyone in this community has stepped in so much. This is just beyond amazing for them to come give their time and to help us out. People we don't even know have just come given their time and, you know, been wonderful with my kids. And everybody's just jumping in, so it's amazing. I think it's a good lesson for my kids to see. This is my best friend in the whole world. <laughs> and I love her, and she really needs a bath. <laughs>